at 746. Let's get back out to the scene there where Taylor Davis is on Winton Road, where uh, the road has been shut down because of a fatal crash earlier. Taylor, I know you were talking with the police. What have you learned since we talked to you earlier? Well, we have learned from police that one person has died as a result of this crash and one person was taken to the hospital. But let me step out of the way so that you can see the scene here. It's blocked off. This happened right in front of the Winbrook apartment here on Winton Road. Um, I spoke to a woman who says she heard when this crash happened, she immediately ran out to try to help the people in the car. She said, she saw a woman running around the car asking for help. Uh, she did see the person who was um, hurt and she said that all she could do was tell him to breathe in that moment. She says she's never seen anything like that. Although she did say that crashes do happen a lot on this road. Now, what I can tell you and describe here at the scene is that um, the crash investigation unit is here on the scene. Also, you can't see it because it's being blocked off by these police cars, but the car is almost unrecognizable. You can see that the pole is down as a result of this crash. So it's a very sad scene here. Um, the roads are still blocked off. Duke Energy is back on the other side. You may can't see them, but I see them all the way down at the end of the road there. Um, this is making it hard for cars to get down here, uh, kids to get picked up for school. It's just a, it's a very sad scene and a lot going on here, but we're going to stay here and keep you updated. Taylor Davis, Fox 19 Now.